today we are reviewing a datum project it is the second part of the video about this project so let's get started stakeholders first users submit data data can be personal or business data and collections tear off or data from iot devices and any other data source second storage nodes Provide compute power and storage capacity to store data in the decentralized network. Storage nodes are part of the big chain DB cluster that allows Datum to provide global scale storage of submitted data. Data consumers. Any entity wishing to access data, users can grant data under their precise terms either for free or for a fee. Date token holders. You are in the Datum network and provide a fuel enabling transactions on the Datum network. Datum focuses on empowering the users with source of data. And Datum is open source and free to participate. Fees are paid to store data, access store data, and rewards are paid out for submitting data. Privacy. Each piece of data in the Datum network is marked with usage terms during the encryption. This way the user's resource of the data can control in what way their data is to, it's to be shared and used by others. The usage terms are controlled by the dead token smart contract. Users have full control over privacy settings and can fine tune with WOM to share data. Share disabled, share with specific, identified and known data consumers, share with specific, identified and known data consumers for a minimum fee, share with everyone, share with everyone for a minimum fee. Datum client. The Datum client empowers users to take control of all their data and optionally share or sell their data through the Datum network. The Datum client is being designed for a large number of various platforms such as mobile and desktop. We are also designing support for embedded device platforms using IoT devices, electric cars, etc. to unlock the value of such device data. In the first phase, the Datum client will be offered as mobile app for iOS and Android focusing on the following key development goals overview of store data overview of date token holdings simple privacy controls detailed data access reports focused on and user adoption full transparency means users can inspect the data that is being transmitted at any time traceable access users can trace who are access it their data at any time. Open data. To allow humanitarian and other legitimate projects access to the data, this can register as projects. User clients show currently running projects requesting data access and users can control whether to give access or not based on their decision. An example called information from digital health devices to medical institutions and researchers or IoT devices in case of accidents such as natural disasters. Data on the data network. Data solves the following key problems by focusing on data represented as K or value pairs. It ensures that availability, latency and queryability or searchability are preserved and incentivized or rewarded. All data is encrypted and protected using AES-256 GCM with 256-bit case size for every 100 28-bit block, ensuring data integrity. First, data storage. A. Decentralized, not controlled by any single party. B. Secure, encrypted at source and immutable. C. Performant. Firstly, latency. 
secondly for output and D functionality rich firstly able to query data secondly able to search data and two marketplace a request data B bid for data C sell data user specs the user is looking to solve the following criteria first secure data is encrypted at source second tamper proof data is immutable third unlock value data can be monetized next storage decentralized storage privacy data is stored anonymously and sixth control users stays in control of critical points such as a life of data b detail of data c future use of data data consumers data consumers can request for data ultimately it is down to individual network users to grant access to data the credibility of data consumers is an important aspect as such data consumers should be incentivized to build a trusted track record in handling data responsibility the data network puts great importance on know your customer while there is an industry focus on know your customer there is hardly anything advocating users right to know their counterparty the data network fixes this by empowering its users to determine who gets access to their data data consumers can choose to disclose the following or nothing identity general privacy policy use of data lifetime of data data network trust rating regarding data requests consumers can specify further data specific items use of data and lifetime of data data network incentives various parties and stakeholders making up to the data network have different incentives users control of use of data secure and infinitely scalable data storage and monetization of data data consumers direct access to validated and verifiable data and lower costs by eliminating data broker middleman storage node rewards for hosting data and providing compute power data validation initially the data network will really on buyers to validate data and regulate fake or invalid data however the data validation mechanism can be implemented going forward and data also plans to implement a trust ranking system for all users this includes owners of data and buyers of data as well as storage node operators. Firstly, users can link their data to their verified identity such as a U-port or Civic. Secondly, users can enrich their data with social media and other profiles. And next, users can enrich their data with trusted third-party validators. An algorithm based on scientific method consensus, such as D-Sensor, SenseMaking4, can be implemented. Use cases. User submits data and gets paid by a consumer. First, user submits a piece of data to the data network using the client software. The user pays gas to submit the data. As the data is encrypted, only the users can provide a decryption key to all the interested parties. Second, a storage node receives the data and stores the data. The data is replicated to many other storage nodes. Third, a data consumer declares interest to purchase the piece of data. Fourth, 
users receive a data purchase request with the details such as a purchaser and price offered. They can agree to the purchase request to counter offer with a modified proposal. And last, the user accepts the proposal, the user receives date tokens and the decryption key is sent to the data consumers who pays in that tokens. More detailed information can be found in links from the description. Thanks for watching. For today this is the end. Subscribe to my channel. Invest and make money. Good luck.